Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video, I have guided you how to create a peripheral control policy. I have created three policy. If you don't see, then please watch my last play, uh, last video of this tutorial. And I will show you how to add users on this group. On the last video, I have added only users. You can see here, but I have don't added any group. So let's how to add users, uh, how to add group in this uh, peripheral uh, control policy, dip, different different users. So you need to just click on peoples. Once you click on peoples and you can see group uh, users and group icons. So uh, if you click on users, then you can see three users. And if I click on group, then you can click uh, see uh, three groups. So I I think I, I I need to remain rename this group name because here we need to create an admin group so that it will always clear and uh, after that I need to back 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 admin and here we need to create uh, I am uh, modify read only read only group back again and here we need to create full block full block okay you can create on your uh, portal three only three groups and you can add edge uh, the users uh, criteria like uh, if uh, any users uh, 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 <coughs> under uh, read only then you can add a read only if you just uh, required full access block then you can add full access if you there is admin group then you can add admin level group on this group and now i am adding one of users who is i want to add uh, this user to read only so then i need to select this machine and move and then click on ok now i have added uh, under read only group one members then how to associate this group to that uh, peripheral policy you need to click on policies once you click on policy i uh, click on read only icon and you can see here as group and once you click on group there then you will find three groups and you can select if uh, if this uh, this users uh, belong the, to read only policy then you can select here and then save okay then select here to save now we will uh, full block now we will do the same like full block click select click users and full block it will very easiest to everyone once you done now full access and you can click on group and full admin group click on here and save now now what you do we, you can see we have added uh, we have added multiple uh, groups and users then only you need to once any users onboarded on your system on your uh, organization then go to people's group and check uh, this user uh, which group belong like he required read only permission or full block if required full block then here you can go just click on edit and you will see that user's name here you can click on here and move and click on save this will automatically reflect your policy if you go on the policy and read only i have added and uh, you can see there is two users in the group in the group but uh, here we you cannot see because we have a created group based policy so you can uh, see here how many user on which group here you can see and this is very easiest and very easy to manage to all group because we don't want to uh, add manually you can you can just put a group and ta uh, tag your group name like full block admin group or read only and you can move this this user and policy will be automatically apply on the same group so please create like this if you get any error then definitely call me i will guide you help you thank you so much jai hind We'll meet you on the way. Upcoming sessions.